Hey friend, this is Ricky White, pastor of Havenwoods Baptist Church, and today we are on day 16 of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. Today we are asking God to help us make room for transformation. Transformation doesn't happen by accident. Transformation happens by intention and purpose. We must intentionally, purposefully determine, God, I want you to change my life. It's the work of sanctification. Sanctification is the process of God making us more like Jesus day by day. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2, the Bible says, Don't be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Can I ask you today, are you allowing God to transform your heart to make you more like Jesus each day? Or are you allowing God to transform your marriage and your family to make it all that God wants it to be? And how about our churches? Sometimes we get so uh, caught up in our programs and plans and we just don't make room for God to make the necessary changes in our churches. Ezekiel 36 verse 26 and 27 says this, that God can take a heart of stone and replace it with a heart of flesh. Have you allowed this world and the devil and, and the flesh to harden your heart? Friend, today you can allow God to bring transformation to your heart, your home, and your church by surrendering your heart to the Lord and allowing Him to have His way. But at our house, we love watching the uh, uh, renovation shows, whether that's on HGTV or the Magnolia Network. And, and, you know, people come in and they'll totally overhaul and change that home. I believe sometimes, though, we're sort of like that person that wants the renovation. We just won't give the, the, the renovator the key. They can't do anything if they don't have the keys. And friend, the same is true for you and I. We may want God to change our heart, change our home, change our church, but will you surrender the keys? Will you allow Him to do His work in each of those areas in your life? Let me pray for us today. God, I pray right now for each one that's watching this video. God, I pray you would give us a heart that desires transformation God, that we would truly desire to be more like Jesus day by day. But God, to know that the only way you can transform us is when we surrender the keys to you. God, we may make our plans, but the, your word says you order our steps. So God, we pray today that you would give us a heart for transformation. God, that we would make room for you to be able to influence our lives through your word, through preaching and teaching, through fellowship with other Christians. And God, you begin to do your work of changing us and making us to be more like Jesus each and every day. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you again real soon. God bless you and have a great day.